photography sign on well this is my uh, Ames power inverter inverter charger I should say it's a uh, 4,000 watt pure sine wave 24 volts slash 120 volts power inverter from Ames I receive it in the mail on Friday install it on Friday night tweaked with it Saturday still playing around with it but anyway so this is my system and then as you can see we're in inverting mode right now right now we're taking power from the battery as we speak meanwhile we're taking power from the battery uh, to feed um, I should say about 75% of the house right now they're also charging at the same time and they are flex max 80 we're in MPPP bulk at 800 watts coming in uh, 30 amps going into the battery and we're taking from the battery um, 1.5 amps as we speak fluctuating back and forth Here we still have the aura. aura. Fifteen sixty going in. We're doing laundry. My system is actually a hybrid system. I have the TVR three point over here, and I also have my battery system here. So this is my battery bank down here, mm -hmm. consists of 12 deep cycle um, golf cart battery. This is my uh, junction point. All my battery cable comes in right here. Flexmax charge controller comes in right here. And their aims is connected right here. And this is a 400 amp uh, bus bar. And every battery cable over here is sitting on an independent fuse, 100 amp each. I have the same thing over on the ground side. 400 amp bus bar. And also the grounds are running through their own fuse as well, 100 amp each and that's my shunt that's my desulfator and uh, coming over here I have a 80 amp breaker from um, Outback for my charge controller and um, this I'm gonna upgrade I ordered it so this will be you know taken up pretty soon over here we also have low voltage going into the house so over here we have a 150 amp low voltage uh, fuse that also uh, feeds feeds the house for certain low voltage things that we have on the house all my battery cable are at equal length i'm running a zero gauge wire straight across that's my system Actually, let's say my battery system and cables in here. And all my um, cables from the battery negative side to that bus bar are equal length. Same thing on the um, power side here. They're all equal length. And that's my Outback temperature sensor wire that's down here. Um, I also ordered the uh, temperature sensor wire and the uh, LCD monitor for the uh, Ames inverter. 
so far so good everything is working fine I uh, can't complain Like I said, that's my 400 amp bus bar, and they're fusible. The, I have one on negative and one on the positive. Same thing here. Let me open this up. There it is. Same thing on this side. So this is my system here, YouTube. And uh, as for the Ames inverter, we have AC going in and also AC coming out. And uh, one of the main reasons why I went and purchased this Ames inverter charger. It's in the winter time. I'm living in a subdivision. I can't put any uh, panels on the front of my house. And so my panels are facing west. In the summertime, everything is quite fine. But come winter time, when the sun is much lower, I have a um, um, problem charging my battery, basically going into even float or absorb. So this is where the inverter charger comes in. So in the winter time, I don't have to worry about it. However, I do have enough panel on the roof. Could I add more to this, but I chose not to. So what I have on this, I have 1560 watts on this right here. And what I have on the Aura, I got 3000 watts of solar panel. Yeah, well, so I didn't want to tamper with, with this. I didn't want to take any uh, panel off this to put to this. So I got my inverter charger. So in the winter time, you know, I could still take power from the house to help charge the battery or maintain battery lot voltage during the winter time. So right now. We're inverting, so we're also taking power off the battery to also feed into the house through the Ames inverter. Likewise, this is also doing it as well. So off this system here, we're pulling in right now at 1510 off the Aura inverter. And then on the Flex Max 80, that's coming in off the panels right now. It's 780 watts. And we are bulk MPPT charging right now. And we're still pulling power off the battery in inverter mode. So, here's my new toy. Garfield signing off.